In this video, we will see the CAD feature of Automation Studio. In the Home tab, you see that we have some drawing capabilities to enhance your drawing. So basically, as any other software, you can design some lines, rectangular, ellipse. If you want to do a perfect circle, you hold the control key down while making the circle. The arc, you drag the actual ellipse, then you click here to move the end of it to stop wherever you want. Then we have the polygon. Polygon enables you to create a shape at multiple points. Once you've closed the polygon, you'll be able to fill up the inside. If the polygon is not closed, you will not be able to do any pattern or filling within the cat. The poly polygon here has the capability of putting an empty inside. So for example, if we redo the exact same thing, you see it's a bit crooked here, we'll adjust it later on. Then I do another one in the middle, which this one will be open. You see once it's done, let's zoom in a bit, you can re-click on the icon to actually come and be able to move the points wherever you want to readjust your drawing. And then you just click away to have your shape. We can also put spline, which is just having like a different shape like this. You double click when you're finished and again, you can move these away and readjust your drawing once it's made. You can also insert text. So you draw your box and then you can put any text you want. We also have the capability of inserting a picture. Click on this icon. You make a square and it asks you which picture you want to add. Let's say I want to put a picture of a press. Click twice on it. Once the picture is inserted, you can rescale re it like that to make it fit wherever you want on your drawing. You can insert field from your project. For example, if I draw a square here, it's going to automatically ask me which field do I want to display there. So I can go into current project and I can display all of these information, the company name, created by, created on, date, uh, the file size, where it's saved. Let's say we'll put the created on date. If I approve, when I close this, now I can actually see when that document was created. All these CAD features that we put here, you can also change the layout, the color, the shape, the filling. You can also edit the grid. If you put the snapping grid to, let's say, 1 per 20, then you're going to have much more precision when you drag your polygon. You'll be able to add any points that you want like this as precise as needed. Well, when it was at the regular grid, you see if we put it back like it was, now we have much less precision when we do our drawing. Let's zoom out. Now let's go into the Edit tab to show what we can do with these shapes. So on the line, you can actually put an arrow at the end if you want. You can change the line to be dashed. And you can change the color of the line too. Then you can select the line, click on the end of it and just change where it goes. On that shape, on that rectangular that we did, we can also change the outline. Or we can put a fill pattern and we have access to, let's say, this type of pattern. I can also put a shade if I want at the bottom here. And you see the foreground color is the first color and then the background color, if I put yellow, you'll see that it's going to go from black to yellow. Sometimes you may want to do a drawing uh, or you have a section on your drawing that you want to highlight. So you can actually put like a full color, a light color, and you can put that square behind your drawing to highlight some section of it if you want. With that polygon that we did before, you see if I fill up with a color, the middle one, the middle is empty. 
You can also click on the text to change the text color, the size of it, the alignment under underline or italic. So let's say I want I want to redraw this shape here into Automation Studio just for a purpose of maybe creating an animation later on by using the HMI 2D. So I will go into the Home tab, select the polygon, and I will do a shape that looks like the top of this one. So I can come over it and just draw a shape that looks like what I'm seeing here on this image. Once it's made, I can drag it out. I can set this is a bit too far, so I can just click on Polygon again to bring it once closer. Now I'm happy with the shape. I want to change the color of it. So I'm going to go into the Edit tab, Fill Pattern, Full Pattern, Foreground Color, More Color. I'm going to click the Picker here. And you see if I go over this image, I can pick the same blue that is on that image. Then I can go back home here, put let's say rectangular here. And if I want to send this shape in the back, click right on the shape, go order, and then send to back. Now you see it's behind it. Now I want to make the cylinder. So I'm going to drag. I'm going to create another square like this. But then I want it to look like a cylinder. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go into Edit. I'm going to fill it up with a shade like this. And instead of putting from black, I'll put a bit like a, a, darker, a dark gray. Now you see it looks like a cylinder. And here, that first shape, I can just recolor it exactly the same I did before with the picker and take this color now. So I can actually recreate this look, which I can later on in Automation Studio do an animation and make that cylinder go up and down according to my hydraulic circuit. Thank you for your time and I invite you to watch the other training videos. Thank you.